The Journal Record presents the 2011 Class of Achievers Under 40. Celebrating young professionals who are making a positive difference in the business community. Join us May 17th at Tulsa's Renaissance Hotel. For me, being recognized at 29 is a lot of fun. I started Cicero at 23, so I've been doing this six years now. So there's definitely been a lot of bumps along the way where you feel like, am I doing the right thing? Should I walk away? And then you keep going and then you realize, you know what, I'm actually starting to make a difference. I'm starting to make waves. and. It really is cool to be recognized for that. It's really inspiring. It's kind of validating that people acknowledge the work that you put into things that, that are recognized. Uh, it's interesting to see that, that people are paying attention to who's coming up and kind of assuming positions of leadership and is willing to jump in and help out and participate. I was really honored when I found out. Uh, it was very humbling when I saw the list of the other folks uh, who had received the award. But for me, it was just as much of a recognition for my company, uh, looking at where we've been, where we're headed. Um, I think it shows, hopefully, that, that our company brings uh, value to our clients. It was particularly great coming from a publication like the Journal Record, obviously, right? Uh, publication got the pulse of the business community, so it's taken serious. Uh, it was quite an honor. It happened just a couple years after I, had first, I was first elected county commissioner. Uh, what was interesting about that is that was a bit of a double-edged sword my age when I was running because you have a lot of people like, oh, we want a fresh face. And then you have the other side of people like, is he old enough to be a county commissioner? And I think it's, it's really rewarding to have someone notice that this individual is choosing to care, is choosing to be involved and, and shows promise in the community. When I was just a kid, eight years old, my grandma used to make me clothes. And so she would ask my sister, okay, what would you like? And my sister would say, oh, a little frilly dress. And she'd say, okay, Carrie, what would you like? And I said, a suit. So I was literally an eight-year-old kid on the playground in a suit. And I don't know why, but that was just always kind of part of me, that entrepreneurial spirit. There is a lyric from uh, the play Oklahoma that says, I don't think that I'm any better than anybody else, but I'll be darned if I'm not just as good. And I think that speaks volumes as to who we are as Oklahomans. I want to make a difference here. I want to make Oklahoma City a better place, just like the people before me have made Oklahoma such a great place. So for me, Oklahoma just really is the opportunity. Um, it's, just, it's a big fish in a small pond that allows me to do a lot of things and be involved in a lot of things. No matter where you are in work or in life, that if you recognize that there's a breach of leadership have the courage to step past your comfort space and step into that and provide leadership, whether it's your family, whether it's your workplace. There's a lot of opportunity if you're willing to look at leadership different than authority.